starting to get less and less coherent here. <laughs> I, ah. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back. Whether you What's like she it or doing not. in there? Like, what is that contraption? Oh, we saw the Matrix, you guys. What is that? And why is she strapped into it? I don't... Stop using the TMP. Leon, now! Okay. Why would you do that? That seems like it would hurt way more. That seems like that would cause all kinds of damage in your internal organs. To move the bullets down to your hand to push them out. Like, why would you do that? Sadler, you fucking asshole. Off-screen battle between Ada and... Oh, wow, she retains her health from the last time we were together. That's, that's, that's pretty interesting. Here you go, Ashley. Might as well give you one of these so we can pump your health up a little bit. And there is, like, I, well, I'm pretty sure there's, like, nothing else to buy from this guy. Got a selection. And I also am a big fan of characters who are, like, they're not the good guys. In fact, it's kind of implied that they're the bad guys. Okay, here's this hand wave of, again, the most inconsistent gestation period of the parasites ever. <laughs> I do like that last line. So, is the Plagueis an adult or not? Because it has taken control of these characters multiple times. Like, Sadler can just wave his hand and take control of them. And fucking... Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. And, like, Leon just out of nowhere started having convulsions and started choking a bitch out just for apropos of nothing for no reason so like how far along are these parasites are they adults or not at what stage do they start taking control of people i don't like i just don't understand how the parasite is like managing to do all this stuff with the with 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 these characters and like making them do things against their will and whatnot and yet oh we can just and and once it's an adult it'll fucking like it's impossible to remove or whatever but oh we can it's still taking control of people but just i, I don't know yeah, what were they doing? What was the point of this? They never explained that. Also, we're back in this room. Apparently, like, the scope of that boss fight took place in, like, three minutes. But not even, like, that was a dramatically very short period of time. Like, the actual boss fight, when you play it out, does take, like, a couple minutes. But then we come in here, and they're just completely magically gone. It's actually like, we probably shouldn't have come back here because it kind of takes away the mystique and you barely get anything for doing it. Okay. 
And, and, and again, his plan was to send her back. I'm just gonna chalk it up to Sadler being really fucking stupid. Like, he's just not a smart villain, and that's intentional that he's just a dumbass. I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. That's considerate that he's like, do it on me first, just in case it's not safe. I do think that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at how big it is! I don't... Yeah. Alright. Here goes nothing. Ew, it just dissolves inside your body. That's you fucking feeling? gross. Like a million bucks. I thought you were gonna die. All right, guess I'm up. <laughs> you okay? Awkward I hug. You, but I think it's time we go home. Okay, so yeah. Next, the final chapter. Yeah, let's do it. Fifty saves, even. We're good. We're done. Let's bail out of this game and start. I have no idea how this thing works. We were just up, let, so let's let Ashley operate on this magical device. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, I just really like characters who are like, you can kind of tell that they're not on the good guy team. They're on their own side, but they still help out. Like they're, they're never, she's never antagonistic. And that's one of the things I like about Ada, is she's not a good guy, but she's not a bad guy either. She never does anything against the main characters. Like, she never hinders their progress or, like, stands in their way or anything like that. She just kind of does her own thing. Our mission. Okay. Um, no. But, okay, okay you... Silly Spanishman. N no, that's oh, uh, uh, what? What? Okay, and kidnapping the president's daughter was going to help you do this. How? Okay, okay, Sadler. Your plan is stupid. You had no plan. You're just a dumbass. Fuck this. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> the, the more we learn about what the actual plot by the villains was supposed Welcome. to be, the more you're like, this just to... Go to select like, this is a, an excuse plot if there ever was one. <laughs> like, fucking ninjas kidnap the president. Are you a bad enough dude ah. to save the president? <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Like that's the Thank the the, the degree that we're at with this game, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's fine, right. but it's just it's goofy, time. and I love it. But it's just so silly. Ah, it's so great. Anyway, and 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 the, uh, and the sense you get from Ada, is she's kind of like it's an inconvenience, or she's like. Man, I really shouldn't help this guy out. I really should just stick to my own deal. In fact, if I didn't help him out, it would make my job right. easier. Ashley, you stay here. But she just can't help herself. You know, I just can't help myself. I... I see, like, he's a dumb little mouse, and he needs my help, and I just gotta go do whatever I gotta do to help him out. Ada! So yeah, the results of that off-screen boss fight. Hmm. 
<laughs> Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. <laughs> Good thing there were those cardboard you boxes can. under. I've been better. Aww. <laughs> They're so cute What's together. So funny. Knife's what magically back. Know? The American prevailing is a cliche that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. Kennedy, you entertain me. To show my appreciation, I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. Ada, stand back. The world of cliches where the final villain turns into a giant monster that we have to fight as the final boss. Thanks, Sadler. I appreciate you liberating me from the world of cliches. Okay, let's run the fuck away from this guy. Oh, and it's raining. Isn't that great? This final boss fight's awesome, by the way. Yeah! I also- oh, again, this raises the question of... Is the, like, the parasite bursting out of your body reversible? Because you had... Mendez and fucking, uh... Sa Sa Salazar. And they popped into their giant monster mash forms. But they were kind of insulated, they had their own community going on. Sadler here thinks he's gonna take over America or some shit. What's he gonna do? Pop onto a telecam with the president and be like, Yo, I've like, let's assume that he wins and Leon dies here and they reinfect Ashley, God damn it. And then they, you know, ransom her off and send her home. And they do their plan. What's he gonna do? Like... He's gonna try and ransom with the president and be like, Yo, Mr. President, I got your daughter. Fucking give me the money. But how's he gonna do that when he looks like a monster mash like this? Like, what's he gonna do? Pop on the fucking telecam and be like, Yo, and he's a big fucking, like, spider eyeball beast or whatever. And everyone's just gonna be cool with that? Like, I don't think you've thought this through, homeboy. But that's just my two cents. Are you gonna jump over here? I thought he jumps over here. Yes. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shit. Bam! I am just fucking this guy up. Done. Actually, I'm pretty sure there's a little bit more... Excuse me, pardon me, just don't mind me, sir. You keep doing you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and cross the bridge here. Pretty much only worth going over there for the uh, extra damage of the barrel and the uh, crane crashing the, uh, 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 you know, the big bars into them for the extra damage. But there's much more room to maneuver and run around on this side. Come on. Thank you. Wait for an eyeball to open. Oh, you fucking asshole. Come on. There we go. And Ada. Yay. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Where'd that happen? 
over there, I think. Should give it a second. Uh, the more, uh, he can only be finished off by the rocket launcher. Nothing else can kill him. But the more damage you do, the more money you get as a reward for finishing him off. Oh no, my inventory's too big! Oh no! Okay, hold on here. I can do this. Let's do some years of Tetris. Coming in handy. Uh, if I could only equip my striker and reload it. There we go. Okay, now I can definitely... Oh no, I can do this! Oh no! No! Oh, good goodness gracious. Okay. I can do this. Yeah! I'm the best. So this is a special boss-only rocket launcher, as is customary for the series. And let's finish this game off. Yeah! Thanks for the assist, Theta. And fucking Dunzo. I like how the fucking- Oh, that shit's in the cutscene! That's hilarious. Sorry, Leon. Hand it over. Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. That sort of comes off more like a he doesn't know what it is. He's like, Ada, do you know what this is? Because I have no idea. I'm just here to save the president's daughter. I don't know what's going on. Don't worry. I'll take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. If I were you, I'd get off this island too. She really pushed it. Pushed what? Here, catch. Thanks, honey. Better get a move on. See you around. See you in the next game. <laughs> Very cute. That whole final interaction is just so confusing. Cause like, he has no reason to even know what the fuck. Oh right, I ditched the scope. He has no reason to even know what that is. And it's not like it was his mission. His mission from the get-go was to save the president's daughter. He has nothing to do with the Las Plagas. All of that was just shit he found out while he was here. He has no investment in any of that. And she was here, obviously, to get the sample. So again, there was no conflict of interest there. It's not like he was here to get the sample and she's, like, taking it away from him. And with Sadler, all of this Lost Plaga shit dies with him. The whole idea of the sample was kind of dumb enough. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? It's gonna what? Bye, merchant dude. We get that big payout, but nothing to spend it on. Jesus Christ, that was a long way down. And hell, that was the sample that Luis brought to us. And it's like, do you remember in the scene where Luis died, he was like, Leon, I got it. And then Sadler stabs him through and kills him and takes it back from him. Leon had no reason to Leon, want sweetheart. the sample, so I don't know why he's bringing it to him. Uh, that whole thing just seems awkward to me. So here's our Hideki Kamiya, uh, the end of Devil May Cry helicopter sequence to escape the exploding lair. And of course, it's a Resident Evil game, so it, there has to be a self-destruct sequence. But, like, what? Did Ada go around and set up a bunch of explosives? And look, it's already exploding, even though the timer's still not done counting down. So I guess those are just preliminary explosives. Just hold on. 
And why did she have the button to do to, to the self-destruct sequence in the first? It's just really goofy. It, it's sort of the game's just kind of going like, okay, fuck it. Just shut up. We got to finish this game here. Stop thinking about it. It's not a big deal, you guys. Don't worry. Actually cutting it pretty close to the wire. But you have more than enough time. And game over. Wouldn't that be great if after all that, she fucking dies? Wouldn't that be the best? Like, her body just floats up and she's dead. Hard cut to credits. That, that, would, uh, that would make this the best game of the universe as far as I'm concerned. Sounds like a great idea. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Literally riding off into the sunset. And I also like how they blew up the island. They blew up Disc 2, basically. But the village and the castle are still there. So, like, just don't think about it. They blew up the island. It's all good. They blew up Disc 2. And I love this credit sequence. Showing, uh, you know, just homely life in the village. It's all good. Aw, it's so sweet. Aw, family dinner! Yay! Art production. Special thanks to Naoki Kataki. Whatever. Characters and creatures. Masaki Yamanaka. I love when games have like a creative title se uh, credit sequence like this. Doesn't beat Platinum. Platinum has the best ones where it's literally gameplay while the credits are going on. But stuff like this where it's, you know... Yay, I, I killed that guy. That guy. That, like, you can tell from the drawing what character model that was. All of these have a special thanks. That's really cute. And then... Dun, dun, dun. Oh, no. Oh, and the injection started. Ominous, threatening music. Oh, that's so dark! Oh my god. I would pay money to have this drawing. I would get it framed and hang it up in the living room. And then, dun-dun, the Lost Plagas. Special thanks, Ray. Aw, sad face. <laughs> and then just regular credits. The, the, like, uh, we ran out of fucking art sequences to show, so just cut to normal credits, it's fine. So, there's still more to do. There's still extra. Paul Mercier. Love that guy. And Sally Cahill as Ada. Uh, there's still more to do in this game, but like with Arkham City, it's not as good. <laughs> uh, like, Assignment 8 is pretty okay, but it's just kind of arcadey. And Separate Ways isn't good. I, I kind of uh, contemplated editing this so separate ways was happening in conjunction with the main game but no like the way it's presented in the game is you beat the game and then you unlock separate ways so that that's what i believe you should do 
you should go the way it was intended to be played, the main campaign, and then the extra stuff, even though chronologically they couldn't fit together. Shinji Mikami! Fucking brotastic. Capcom, before the dark times, for the Empire. Yeah, fuck you. This game is protected under the laws of the Raccoon City Police Department, unauthorized duplication, uh, and criminal prosecution by an appropriate STARS member, and then some. Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack free. <clears throat> hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? Oh, yeah. I've rescued the subject. We're returning home. You did it, Leon. You Thanks. did it. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty. Story of my life. Dude, Ashley just offered to fuck you. <laughs> so last I heard, Leon, you were got you guys were going into a castle or some shit. Oh yeah, dude, how to get tons of shit went down. <laughs> that was the last she ever heard. Yeah, look at that. That's an embarrassing amount of times killed. Good hit ratio, though. I'm satisfied with that. Almost a thousand dudes. No. Shut up. Yeah. Infinite rocket launcher. You also get separate ways and mercenaries mode. Right? Yeah, here we go. Extras. We got separate ways, assignment Ada, mercenaries, and you can watch the cutscenes. Anyway, so that's the greatest game of all time. <laughs> uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. We're not done, but there you go. That is the game as it was released on the GameCube. Separate Ways was added in the PlayStation 2 port. Assignment Ada was on the GameCube because they were like, well, shit, we have this whole second disc. We need to put something else on it. And Mercenaries, I believe, was also on the second disc. But anyway, anyway, thank you guys for watching.